like the exhaust note on this car. Have a listen. Alright everybody, how we doing? Welcome back. Uh, you caught me down at local canal today, well, river. Uh, Saturday afternoon, nice day. Looks like I'm going to chuck it down there. And I'm wearing my new glasses. So I came down here, when will it be? A year or so back to do with some of the uh, NG videos that I've been doing, so I thought I'm doing another video on car, so I'll come back down again uh, to show it off to see what, what's been going off. Um, as you know, I think we've done about eight parts now, something like that. Uh, and we've been chipping away at it, doing odd jobs. Um, we've finally got to the stage now where we've got enough money saved up for us to get it into paint, get some bodywork sorted out, because that was what really letting it down. Um, and it looks it looks really well now to be honest with you. Uh, it wasn't cheap, don't get me wrong, it was probably a lot more than the car was worth, but that's not the whole point, is it? It's not what the car's worth, it's what the car's worth to us. So I mean for the edge of the car, underneath it's, it's brilliant. Uh, can't fault it out at all. Previous one it well, where the previous owners are, they've obviously looked tried to look after it. So that's a saving grace there, isn't it? So so yeah, uh, as you can see down there. It's a nice walk coming down here. I've been down here many a time. But enough of that. Let's spin you around and we'll show you. There she is, back from the paint. Well, she's been back uh, probably a couple of weeks now, three weeks maybe. Uh, giving her a wash and polish before I've come out here. And she looks really well. Up above there is the old, uh, well, it's still owned by Network Rail, I suppose, but it's the old Healy, uh, Healy Road Goods Yard, which is no longer used anymore. I think some trains pass through there, but uh, not many. Oh, let's go down, we'll show you. Uh, last year all this flooded down here, couldn't get through. So, quick walk around first, then I'll tell you what we've done. Really, really shiny paintwork now. Yeah. So let's start at front end. The back front bumper off. Uh, we got some uh, new old stock headlamps, uh, which I got wrapped from a friend at work. So they've been put in. Looks a lot, lot better. The uh, mesh grills, they were all rusty. So I bought some new stainless steel ones and they've uh, put those in for me along with the bottom one here as well. Uh, if you look back at some of the old videos, you'll notice that one of these were a different colour and it was also constantly hanging off. Um, I got hold of some cheap 
they must have been Chinese copies or something, but they were absolute garbage, they kept falling off. So I got all of some proper ones um, and had the paint shop paint them both, both sides to match, colour coded. I think from the factory they might have been just plastic, I think, I'm not sure on that, um, but I thought it looked better colour coded. Uh, the bonnet, they repaired all the bonnet, fully repainted it. It was all rusty all along the edge here and down here. If you lift the bonnet up, um, in fact I'll show you. <sighs> Dirty fingerprints on it already, look. Wife will kill me. Where's the bonnet latch? There we go. So all underneath's been repaired here as well. So it was all bubbling. There's like a, a seam sealer that runs all in there. And I think water or something must have got in and bubbled it all from the inside out, if you know what I mean. Uh, a bit dusty in here, this could do with a clean. Obviously from when it was painted. Yeah, that's the bonnet front end looks really good didn't have to touch any of the front end stuff all these you know there's wings and anything both side skirts either side have been uh, come off and this one's been painted because it had a big scratch in it the both the rear arches were the worst ones We thought this one was the worst side. It was all bubbled. In fact, I'll sh you'll see on the videos in a minute all the pictures of what they've done where they've chopped it out. There are repair panels available for these, but they couldn't get any till like July or something. So in the end, they ended up making their own, just cutting it. I think they cut it out up to about there uh, and made some up themselves, which is really good. treated it all inside as well uh, nothing on the back end I didn't need anything on the back end we thought we could get away with this side because it was only worst or we thought just down here but it turns out it was all the way up here as well so uh, that's why the it cost went up a bit more so all this has been done it's all been fully repainted up to the swage line there. Uh, new badges supplied by us. Uh, and obviously they've obviously they cleaned and polished it as well, but I've cleaned and polished it again today. So we've had it, you know, we've had it back a while now, so but yeah. I'm well pleased with the result considering. I think the only thing that's letting it down obviously is the wheels uh, we'll address that at some stage uh, in the next month or so either we'll get re refurbished and getting painted a different color probably black or i might look into getting some uh, aftermarket ones you can get some pretty good deals and brand new wheels now so i'm a bit undecided i suppose it's best to keep these because they are the original or well, not to this car but they are original mg alloys so um, I'll see what the wife wants to do because it's her car, so. Uh, but I do enjoy driving it as well. It's uh, it's not something you see on the roads any, anymore, is it? Quick look inside, nothing much has changed. Obviously, we've done a few choice mods. Uh, the Rover 25 black leather instead of the Hex uh, bucket seats. So they were knackered anyway. So that looks good, and plus you get the on the Rover 25 ones you get the headrests and the armrest in the middle. So that's that one a nice mod. Uh, center armrest modification, uh, piano black center dash, uh, and that's pretty much it really. Um, wife's just got some of these leather leather 
shoulder thingies. Um, some dealer MG floor mats under there. So yeah, it's no stupid uh, boy racer mods or anything like that. It's just apart from the exhaust, obviously, but you know, just just little stuff to enhance it. Uh, obviously, we've changed the rear lights as well to the trophy ones, trophy SE, whatever you want to call them. So come back a bit. So yeah, there you go. Uh, just a quick shout out to the guys that have done the paint shop. We've used them quite a few times. Uh, PM Auto Bodies in Horbury, not far from here. So anybody in the West Yorkshire area that's looking to get some body work done, give those guys a shout. Um, they do really good work. Like I said, we've used them before. So um, Cost-wise, I'm not going to reveal too much of it. In fact, I'm not going to reveal any of it. <laughs> So you get some keyboard where and you'll say, oh, you've paid too much for that, it's not even worth it, blah, 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 so. Yeah. Like I said, they're getting rare now. See a lot of them on the forums, but they're either spares or repair, because people can't be asked to fix them, which it's a shame, really. So yeah, there you go, that's the MG. Go for a quick walk up here, see if you can see anything. Healy Mills, eh? Right, time to go back. Cup of tea time, I think. So yeah, you know the drill. I'm not going to bang on about it. Uh, hit the subscribe and all that crap. Uh, obviously there'll be more videos to come as and when so thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon